All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. How are my adventurers doing? Hopefully, you all have it open. Noli, how? All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. How are my adventurers doing? Hopefully, you all have it a fantastic, wonderful day. So, welcome to Dev Vlog number seventeen. Uh, before I actually begin the actual like recorded dev log that I just finished doing, you know, effectiveness, well, super effective attacks and non-effective attacks and criticals have been added into the game. And there is something I actually figured out. <laughs> uh, you guys remember when I was talking about that my sprites were a little bit too sharp? As you guys can see, it looks a lot better now. So it turns out it was max size. It was all the way to, yeah, 2048. That just flew in my eye. God dang it. Really? Right now? <laughs> so apply. Yeah, it looked like that earlier. So I figured out the higher I increase this, the worse it's going to get towards sharpness. <laughs> So now that it just looks weird. <laughs> so for me, it's between 1,024 or 512. 512 looks like the best to blend in with this background, but we also haven't made the actual like background yet or gotten a background made. I say so if you guys enjoy this one a lot more you know a little bit more like lining in detail let me know if you guys enjoy this one a lot more that blends in a lot better let me know I, i'm personally fond of the 512. so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the actual like devlog here so this one actually wasn't all that difficult, thanks thanks to somebody in chat having like the most tedious part actually like <laughs> posted in the ch in the chat, and you guys will see when I copy and paste all of it. But yeah, he explained this pretty well, the floats and everything. Uh, so this is basically making a chart for all the typings here, <laughs> which is tedious but I now understand how to make like new typings and anything that I feel like I can always go back and change all of these okay yeah as you saw somebody had this all typed out <laughs> and if I was to like type this all in by hand I definitely would have been sitting here <laughs> for a lot longer than I should or needed this all works I have tested it and it's easy to understand for sure, especially since everything is in the row in the column. What is super effective in that? Uh, there's also like the website that, well, Pokemon websites that pretty much tell you what's super effective against what and what's not, stuff like that. And now I have, have it to where it also understands both typings as well. So if a, so let's say if a monster girl has like fire and normal, the game will recognize that, you know, there's a normal type and I'm hitting it with a fighting type move, even though it's still fire. And it'll, sh it'll show. Uh, but I gotta say, it, it was a quite a bit of understanding. And when you go back and look through all your codings and everything, you can get confused <laughs> after a while, depending on how you clean it up and how you uh, label everything. Like soon I'll understand like most coding and well, probably not soon. I, I say give it like a year or two and I'll understand like every last coding. <laughs> Nah, probably like five years. 
Either way it goes. Once I learn this, then I'll be able to label every single thing and understand all this. And people have told me you don't have to really be skilled in computer science to, you know, start coding inside of Unity and stuff like that. <laughs> which is, which is great, you know, as long as you're like actually like learning and making games constantly, you can do this. But as I said, this, this is mostly a hobby for me. And sooner or later, once it gets into like a bigger stage or becomes a lot bigger, it'll no longer be like <laughs> a hobby. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it can it can be a job. Keeping this game updated and putting in new new monsters, which will actually won't be too bad, especially when the basics of the game is done. Once the basics of the game is done, then I can just, you know, focus on like making maps. I can focus on making Matt I did not spell critical right. I need to go back and actually fix that. <laughs> anyway. This is also another reason why recording this and uploading it is also good too, because I can review everything that I put in and catch anything that I messed up because you guys know the whole tunnel vision tunnel vision thing is a thing inside of games, but when you're watching somebody else do it or watching yourself do it back, you actually catch on to what you've done wrong or what they've done wrong a lot easier than they would. So yeah, it's been pretty, pretty tedious. <laughs> It's always interesting to go back and change old codes too, as you get farther in. Like you don't need like some return codes. You can just change them to like new things that you've made. Mostly because you don't know like what you're going to code into that, like then and there. So you go back and fix other codes that become broken from adding in new things. Or you've made something to where it can now replace the return and have something within it. I put faded here, which in my game, it doesn't, it doesn't say faded. It says defeated. So I go back and change all that too, which I think I do it now. Oh no, I did this first because <laughs> then I saw the defeated then I copied it. Then I started going through all this. Like I said, I don't, I don't try to keep all of my codes the same as uh, game devs videos. I try and do my own unique things and try to remember my own like codings as well. So that way, if I make a mistake, I can also go ahead and fix that easily. I've actually been watching quite a bit of uh, dev videos, other dev developer videos too, seeing how they code things, seeing what they do. That's a lot of things that are that aren't shown that I want to do. Like if anybody have any any videos of showing like GIF images or interactive images, because I want to have a I want to have like those games that interact with if you click on the image, it does something because I kind of want each character to have like their own little portrait that you can click on, you know, have it animated. At least there's one character I want animated and she hasn't been made yet, but I have the designs in my head for her. I at least do that for like the shopkeepers, maybe. And just have like a stationary portrait for talking and dialogue.
Which I'm looking forward to making like actual like dialogue for NPCs, you know, making NPCs that can walk around and move and stuff like that. Because we're in the final stages of our last starter monster girl. Then we're gonna. Okay, here we go. So I use. Uh... Okay, so that disappeared really fast. So I use Arm Throw, which is a fighting type move and gets a normal type. And it was super effective. I still haven't added in the slime, slime girl into the game yet. Because I'm getting all the basics done first before I actually go back and start adding more in. My HD kicked in. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Can't dig it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing dialogue and NPCs. That's going to be the funnest thing for me. Now I also got to figure out animations for stuff. All right, we're heading towards the end. So here I test out critical. It was a devastating blow and it was super effective. Both of those showed up and now I can change it back. So I, bo I have critical attacks, super effective moves okay and not so effective moves which i'll have to put in the slime girl for that one hmm okay so yeah when i finish the the starter monster girls then i'll be working on characters which would be the main characters and their designs first then uh then it'll be a rival, then other stuff down the road. I will work on a website very soon. I'll probably make a video, a time lapse video of me working on the website and getting that going, which will probably be a long video. I probably won't talk over that one. I'll just probably show the progress of making a site and, you know, opening it up to where people can give ideas, forums, like stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one.